dangerous drag race across Beverly Hills. Two drivers in a Porsche and a Ferrari were caught on camera speeding through the quiet neighborhood, but they didn't even get a ticket, huh? Okay, Crime Siders Julia Dahl is here with me to talk about this. Hey, Julia. Hello. So, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> because when I'm in my right. you know, Oldsmobile Omega going 65, right. I get busted. I guess maybe things are uh, different when you're in the La Ferrari Ferrari, which is, goes for $1.5 million. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So basically, Privilege. these two, I know, I know, it's, it must be nice. So these two cars, the Porsche and the Ferrari, were caught, you know, on, hot on tape, speeding through, going through spot, stop signs in Beverly, in a, you know, kind of quiet residential neighborhood in Beverly Hills. Um, police went out to investigate. And they found out, or the suspects, the, the people who were driving, you know, at the at the house, said that the um, that they were from Qatar, and they claimed diplomatic immunity. Okay, uh, I saw that once in a movie, Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> um, breaking laws and then claiming diplomatic immunity. Clearly, traffic laws are some of the most straightforward rules that we have. Uh, can someone really do that? Well, diplomatic immunity has been around for a long time, for hundreds of years, really, and it was it was codified internationally in 1961, designed basically to protect high-level diplomats, you know, um, so that they wouldn't be pulled in on you know bogus charges and, and interrogated about about secrets and things like that. Um, basically, it, it allows them not to be high-level diplomats, to be not to be arrested, not to be used as witnesses, and it can extend to family members. Um, but it's not absolute. Back in actually 1997, a diplomat in Maryland was drunk driving and hit a young woman, killed her. And uh, he was from the Republic of Georgia, and his republic waived the immunity. He ended up going to prison. So it's, it's definitely not um, absolute. Mm. And in this case, what's interesting is that even if these men, you know, are working, for example, for, you know, the Qatari government here in the U.S., they're in L.A., and L.A. has a consulate, not an embassy. Mm. So it's different. Um, consulary immunity, I spoke with uh, a professional, uh, professor of international law at Johns Hopkins, and she said that it, uh, consulary immunity is a lot narrower. So uh, you, you, you wouldn't be allowed, for example, to drag race. It, right. it, it extends only to well, official acts. Yeah, and you know, we, you know, we live here in New York City and we see a lot of diplomatic plates because the UN is right. here and people are double parked right. and they're, you know, doing all sorts of crazy things. Right. Um, and that seems to get looked over. But what if they had hit somebody? Right. Well, if they'd hit somebody, I mean, this this thing that happened in Maryland, he hit somebody and, and, and he ended up going to prison. But it was, you know, his country that said we're waiving the immunity. Mm. It's it, it's it's definitely tricky. And but this this the fact that they work potentially for the consulate and the consulate has not returned our phone calls. So we don't know yet, you know, if it's actually true that they do work for the consulate. Um, then, the, you know, they, they really only have immunity for sort of official acts, which presumably drag racing on a residential street and, is not. And these cars were going 100 miles an hour plus, and so the police found this, or the police had this tape, mm -hmm. and they would they go to this the, their the consulate or to the house, and then. The, diplomatic immunity. The, um, they reportedly said we have diplomatic immunity. The police are definitely still investigating. So it's you know it's not clear whether or not they'll they'll charge these people or not charge these people. It's it's ongoing. Do you remember the line? If you saw that movie, do you remember the line that Danny Glover gives to the guy who tries to invoke diplomatic immunity at the end of the movie? No, give it to me. Been revoked. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It might, we'll might happen in this case. <laughs> all right. Julia Dahl, thank you very much. Thanks. Remember, you can read up on all the big crime stories of the day at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.